Hey YouTube, this is the Gerber de facto dagger. It is a military, purpose-built military dagger, four inches in blade length. It is double-edged, and you see it is a double combo edge. It has uh, extremely sharp serrations, both sides. Uh, the handle is a rubberized handle. Look how thin those slices are. This is the sharpest, even, well, maybe because of the serrations, uh, this is the sharpest, it's definitely the sharpest dagger, definitely the sharpest dagger I've ever gotten. Now the blade steel on this is S30V, a nice high quality stainless steel. Uh, the price tag on this is around $110, uh, but as I said, it is very high quality. This is made in the USA. Uh, there's a big difference with Gerber between their imported, their cheaper imported knives versus uh, their knives that are actually uh, made in their US factory. Right, and the weight on this is only 3.9 ounces. All right, it's a very light, very handy, obviously meant as sort of a, a military boot dagger. Here is a close-up of the blade itself. You see the serrations, they're done well, they're not overly jagged. All right, S30V, and these are made in Portland, Oregon. Let me show you the, uh, the tip. That is the uh, very impressive spear point tip. Extreme obviously what this was made for extreme penetration ability of the dagger design this is the close-up of the handle uh, the texture of the handle and the shape is very good there is a palm swell in both directions integral guard and even this um, this deep groove this wide groove um, it does seem to help with grip and also sweat and blood and mud can just drain down through there hopefully drain off this groove also helps with reversing grip because when you uh, when you reverse grip your thumb and your finger your fingertips naturally go into that groove so it's almost like an indexing crater so very good ergonomics now the texture of this material this is rubbery which is good it, it gives a good grip uh, the end part is hardened plastic. It's not rubbery. See? You hear that? And then you hear that. All right, let me show you. Right, here's the lanyard hole, the extended tang. And that is meant, that is meant as an impact surface. It's purposely designed uh, you know, for use as secondary, uh, secondary weapon. And obviously they designed it they designed it that way on purpose because this is this was designed by a military a military veteran. All right, and here is a size comparison with a, a full size USMC K bar fighting knife. So you can see uh, the Gerber blade. Uh, it is fairly small compared to a full size combat utility blade. Uh, clearly, they meant it to be uh, long enough. Uh, to cause significant damage, but also short enough that it would be easy to carry and easy to deploy in very cramped situations. You're talking about inside houses, uh, inside cluttered urban areas, slums, uh, underground tunnels, caves, that, that sort of very bad situation is pretty much what it was designed for. And here is a size comparison with another uh, purpose-built military dagger, the Zero Tolerance 150. Uh, these are both S30V steel, both very high quality uh, daggers. And as you can see, the Gerber, it's about a half inch longer than the ZT150, and it is also wider. I would say the Zero Tolerance dagger is the size that makes it definitely categorized as a boot knife, whereas the Gerber, it could be a boot knife, you know, depending on how big you are, what the size of your boots are, 
Uh, but the Gerber is actually big enough that you might uh, choose to uh, carry it on your belt somewhere else on your web gear as well. All right, so there's your size comparison, two very high quality daggers. Here is the de facto dagger in the sheath that it comes with. You see that there? Uh, this is the sheath. They do not say what material this sheath is. They just say it is injection molded. And obviously, it is a lightweight, uh, hardened synthetic. Okay, I don't know if it's Zytel or what, but it is, uh, as you can figure out, it's, you know, it's a hardened synthetic, kind of a hardened plastic. It does retain the blade silently. It retains it through friction. There is also a secondary lock. Right? When that is pushed forward, uh, this cannot be deployed. Right? When it's pushed back, it's still held in by friction, uh, but you can deploy it with a firm tug. Right? So that is the sheath. Uh, this is the back of the sheath, and it also comes uh, with this uh, buckle strap, right? and that threads through the sheath. And this makes it compatible uh, with certain types of military web gear. Right? And uh, they said it's compatible with uh, the PALS system. Uh, I'm not familiar with that, but uh, yeah, they say it's compatible with uh, some modern web gear. So that's the sheath. Overall, this is an extremely high quality military dagger, mid-sized. The initial sharpness, um, better than any other dagger that I've handled out of the box. The design, you know, it is simple. It, it has worked since World War II and before then, and it still works for its intended purpose. The grip on the dagger is excellent, keeps you secure. Uh, and I like the extended tang into the impact surface. You know, you might not necessarily really, you know, use that very often, if at all, but I understand the intention behind it. This was actually designed by a military veteran, and they're not trying to say it's for utility at all. They are marketing this as a weapon, and I think it, you know, within the limitations of its length, I think it definitely succeeds as exactly what they're selling it as. These, these Portland, Oregon Gerbers, uh, top notch. So, you know, most people might not have a use for this. It is designed as a military, uh, military dagger. Uh, you could also use it, uh, you know, if you practice martial arts where you use that type of implement. And uh, it's also a very nice collectible, the good steel, the high quality if you collect daggers. So overall, a very nice job by Gerber. I do recommend the dagger if you have a need for such an implement. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for many more. I'm out of here.